Thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to introduce uh, some partners to you and uh, tell you at least a little bit and a little part about how we are turning salt into gold. Let me start on a personal note. Yeah. I uh, was born in Prague in Czechoslovakia and I immigrated to England in 1968 when the Russians came to Prague. I spent uh, some time there working in petrochemicals and then I moved to Switzerland in 72 and uh, because there are no petrochemicals in Switzerland I had to find something else to do. I had two choices. As a chemical engineer I could go to Basel and work on pharmaceuticals and so on but I was never very good in organic chemistry so I actually choose Zurich but there are some very uh, basic industries such as caustic, chlorine, salt, and I choose salt. And the reason was that from that location I was within one hour on the slopes and I could go skiing. <laughs> uh, I choose salt in 1972, that's 40 years ago. As you can see, I got stuck with it. Um, after about 10 years working on salt, I joined Krebs, which is a caustic loading company, and I worked on caustic loading for 20 years. And uh, since about 10 years, we have salt partners. I think that the special thing about salt partners is that we avail of experience from both worlds, from salt and from caustic loading. I think that um, some of you, or many of you, may realize that these are two very separate worlds. So, when we were developing salt technologies, we were always wondering why there is such a huge difference between individual salt types. And uh, we have done a lot of research in particularly in solar salt development, in solar salt uh, crystallization, biology of solar salt works, finding out why is it that the salts are so very different. One of the elements that uh, forms a part of solar salt production, of course, is the harvest and uh, we are very glad that uh, through, throughout the years we got to know a company called ROV Duran in South Africa who are making harvesters that uh, are truly exceptional. Now, why uh, we think that they are exceptional, I would like to show you by a brief introduction into the solar salt harvesting worldwide how it is done in various countries. And uh, then, after that, Gavin McLellan, Managing Director of ROV Duran, will tell you how they do it. Uh, these are the basic types of salt harvesting methods. It's either manual or it is partially, uh, uh, partially uh, mechanized with manual harvest and uh, with some tools and with manual transport. There is a manual harvest with tools and mechanized transport. That's an interesting, uh, interesting method. And then there are several methods of mechanized harvesting and mechanized transport. The countries that uh, we have been active in and where we have been looking into the harvesting methodology uh, are located are uh, shown here. The most primitive and rather shocking way of harvesting salt is still being practiced uh, in Ghana after some 200 years of doing it like this. In Ghana, the government claims that all mineral resources belong to the government and uh, their recovery is allowed only against a license. But women harvesting salt by hand, <coughs> by bare hand, don't need a license. And that's why they 
do it since 200 years like this. It is a slavery um, that uh, is voluntary and is caused or is imposed by law. In Portugal, uh, still methodology of uh, several hundred years is being practiced. Uh, these type of uh, salt ponds have been introduced in Portugal by the Arabs about a uh, thousand years ago. Some way of mechanization is uh, being introduced, at least the loading of the salt. The pulling of a plate by a tractor and uh, in the most modern small salt works there, producing about 800,000 tons of salt per year, they use harvesting machinery. In Bulgaria, the harvesting is still by hand and the transport of the salt is hydraulic. These men, they are picking up the salt and uh, belt conveyors push it into a sliding vessel in the tractor. These two lines are being pushed by the hand. The one line supplies the grind, the other one takes the slide. The slurry is taken to a um, washing tank, which is on rails and is being moved from one uh, salt works to the other. Now, uh, regarding the mechanized uh, salt harvesting, uh, these are the main types of uh, harvesting machinery. It's a tractor driven or self propped These are the two differences. It can be on wheels or on caterpillar tracks. The wheels uh, can be used if the floors are very hard. Caterpillar tracks uh, can have um, ground pressure as low as human foot. So if you can walk in the salt field, you can use these harvesters. The cutting of the salt bed, uh, there are several methods of uh, determining what is the salt bed. It can be done just by eye, by, uh, by a worker who is looking all the time where is the end of the salt and beginning of the salt floor, or it can be done, it can be done uh, automatically. Um, the cutting of the salt can be from top to the bottom. Now, if the salt is hard and it is being cut from the top to the bottom, then uh, it leads, of course, to formation of fines and to breakage of the crystal, uh, uh, crystal size. If it is done upwards, then the salt is lifted, disintegrated, and the formation of fines is limited. And then, of course, how to get the salt out of the pond it can be done either on belt conveyors or by drugs. This is a picture showing a harvester that is tractor driven and uh, it discharges salt to uh, trucks and trailers equipped with double wheels. Uh, this is the tractor and uh, this is how the trailers are equipped with uh, automatic uh, discharge at the bottom, discharging the salt directly into the hoppers of the wash pond. This is uh, a harvesting machine that is being used in Greece. Uh, it's an interesting um, uh, mod model. Uh, it drives on caterpillar tracks and the cutting uh, equipment for the salt is on the side. It cuts the salt downwards and it, then it throws the salt upwards and the salt falls on a belt conveyor that lifts it to mobile belt conveyors on the side. A man walks around along the harvester and uh, controls the cutting edge. 
the belt conveyors bring the salt to a mobile hopper from which the salt falls into um, a lorry. With this system, uh, a very high utilization of the capacity of the harvester is possible because except for the harvester traveling back to the beginning of the next cutting run, uh, there is no loss of operation. Another type of harvesting mas machinery is uh, used in, in other salt works, in a large salt works in Greece. And this is a machine that drives on the mud and lifts the salt and picks it up uh, in the front. This is uh, the front of the machine. Uh, the big wheel in red color is actually only a kind of transporting equipment that lifts the cut sole to the belt conveyor on the side. Such machine uh, can be used only under very specific conditions when the mud floor is hard and uh, when the soft, when the salt itself, the new salt is very soft and it lets, does not need actually cutting, it disintegrates on the lifting blade itself. In uh, Namibia, uh, um, Deron harvest uh, uh, type 9160 uh, is being used to harvest industrial salt, harvest a very uh, pure salt that is used uh, for industrial purposes, for caustic chlorine industry in South Africa. Uh, this machine has a capacity of up to about 1,000 tons uh, per hour, and uh, it drives on both on the salt layer and on the salt floor behind, and cuts the salt in the middle, discharges salt to trucks and uh, trailers. This is the cutting wheel in the middle. This is the cutting wheel that um, uh, cuts the salt, lifts the salt, and throws the salt to a conveyor on the side. Conveyors are on both sides so that uh, the machine can drive forwards and backwards and uh, the trucks and trailers always drive on the salt floor. Here is a short video from uh, from Wolfers Bay. The salt is uh, of very good quality and is very hard. Therefore, the trucks and trailers with single wheels, wide wheels, with single wheels, can drive on the salt. <coughs> now, between the one machine and the next machine, there is uh, a short gap in which the, the harvester stops and doesn't continue working. Not all harvesting machines are suitable for everything and uh, this of course is um, a sad uh, picture but unfortunately this is true. There are many harvesting systems, as I mentioned, we feel that uh, the harvesting system of R.V. Duron is, uh, is uh, superior. Uh, the reasons are mainly <coughs> the machine is doing four jobs at once. It is cutting the salt, it is lifting the salt, <coughs> and it is leaving, there is no need for ripping of the salt before the harvest. There is no need for winterowing. 
And because it is laser controlled, the cutting wheel level is controlled at an elevation of plus minus half an inch. After the working of the machine, the floor of the crystallizer is ready for the next, uh, for feeding the brine and for the next crystallization uh, circuit, uh, cycle. Now, we <coughs> uh, feel that uh, there might be some salt works in the United States, uh, solar salt works, that might need this machinery and that therefore we came for this meeting to introduce uh, Duron harvesters. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for your attention. I would now ask Kevin McLellan to give his technical presentation.